Hey guys, what's up? It's Jay, and today I'm going to be doing my Christmas book haul, starting off with an order that I made from Barnes & Noble. I've never owned any of the Barnes & Noble leather-bound classics before, the main reason being that they don't have Barnes & Noble in Canada, so I decided to make an order for a few of those, um, the first one being this Charles Dickens collection of five novels. So this massive collection includes Oliver Twist, Great Expectations, A Tale of Two Cities, A Christmas Carol, and David Copperfield. Lately I've been in the mood for Charles Dickens, I've been watching like A Christmas Carol and a bunch of other movies. Um, the Oliver Twist 2005 one I really really enjoyed, and then I also watched like this old David Copperfield movie that was really good as well. So I thought it's probably a good time to read some more Charles Dickens because I have not read that much. The next book I got in this order is this lovely leather-bound TARDIS that I absolutely love. Um, it comes with two books, The Silent Stars Go By and Touched by an Angel. I haven't heard too much about these books except for that they are very much like watching an episode of Doctor Who, so I think that's really cool because I haven't read any Doctor Who books before, and I think these ones are going to be a good place to start with. If you've read some Doctor Who novels that were really good, please let me know because I am interested in reading them. And this will go perfectly right beside my TARDIS cookie jar. Oh, and I also got this new Sonic screwdriver. And then I also ordered a gift for my mum in that same order of books, and that is the Barnes & Noble leather-bound King's James Version Bible. This book also has over 2,000 full-page illustrations that are just absolutely beautiful. Okay, so moving on from the Barnes & Noble books, I got this book called Rogues, and it is a short story collection um, based on the roguish characters of many writers. And those authors include Joe Abercrombie, Daniel Abraham, David W. Ball, Paul Cornell, Bradley Denton, Phyllis Einstein, Gillian Flynn, Neil Gaiman, Matthew Hughes, Joe R. Lansdale, Scott Lynch, George R. R. Martin, Garth Nix, Sherry Priest, Patrick Rothfuss, Stephen Saylor, Michael Swanwick, Lisa Tuttle, Carrie Vaughan, Walter John Williams, and Connie Williams. That is a lot, a lot of authors, and most of those names I actually recognize. So I'm really excited to see what is in store in this book. I know Neil Gaiman, uh, one of the short stories in here, is one that is usually included in his Neverwhere book, um, but my copy actually didn't come with that short story, so I'm glad that I have it in this book now. The next book I got is On Writing, A Memoir of the Craft by Stephen King. I have heard so much about this book, I've quoted it before in one of my videos just because I love some of the quotes from this book, but I've never actually read it. People say that if you're a writer, you should definitely read this book because it just really inspires you to write, and I'm just really, really excited to read this one. Okay, the next book I got is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Legendary Edition. This is a manga, and first off I have to say that I'm a huge, huge Zelda fan ever since I was young. Actually, Ocarina of Time I think is the game that I most played in my childhood. So I was born in 96, and the game came out in 98, um, so at the time, I used to just watch my brother play it, um, and then by the time I was so curious, I started to play it myself, I still actually didn't really know how to play the game, so I would just log onto my brother's save and just run around the town and the world and everything, making up my own story. And then of course when I was older, I played the game for realsies and beat it many times after that. And then the last book I got is The Fellowship, The Literary Lives of the Inklings. Now this book I find to be incredibly interesting. Um, usually when I really like an author, I will look up some of their biography stuff and, you know, learn a little bit about their lives, stalk them for a while. But I never really researched into, like, Tolkien's life and C.S. Lewis's life. And I have no idea why, because they are probably the two main authors that probably affected my childhood a lot and my imagination growing up. Um, but yeah, this book is about their literary group that they had. I didn't even know they were friends, but apparently Tolkien and Lewis were like best friends, and they had a literary group called the Inklings, um, with Owen Barfield and Charles Williams, who were also in the group. I'm not really familiar with those authors. So this group called the Inklings, which is a fantastic name for a literary group, um, they would meet up to talk about ideas, to talk about literature, to talk about their religion, and to basically inspire each other and criticize each other's work as well. It just sounds like a really cool group of people, and I'm sure they all became really good friends. So yeah, those are the books that I got around Christmas time, and I am very, very grateful for the family members that got them for me, and I really look forward to reading these books. Um, if you guys have gotten any of them and read them, I'd love to hear your guys' opinions on which book maybe I should read first. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.